What's up guys, it's Regent, and today we're going to look at everything we learned about Battlefield Portal. Battlefield Portal was revealed in today's EA Play to be the secret experience that Ripple Effect has been working on. Info about this experience was actually leaked by a Gamer Rant article that was posted a few hours early, so the info I'll be sharing with you is a combination of what we learned at EA Play and that article. Portal is a community-driven experience which includes remastered maps and assets from Battlefield 1942, Battlefield Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3. At its launch, it will have six maps. The Battle of the Bulge and Al Alamein will return from Battlefield 1942, Erica Harbor and Valparaiso will return from Bad Company 2, and Caspian Border and No Shore Canals will return from BF3. The base game maps from Battlefield 2042 will also be available in Portal. All of these maps, and certain weapons, gadgets, and vehicles, will be remastered in the same version of the Frostbite engine used in BF2042's base game. All the maps have been designed to play as close as possible to the ways they were played in their original forms. For example, the Caspian Border Levolution event where the tower comes down will be in Portal. The only major change to the maps is the addition of destruction to Battlefield 1942 maps. Portal's menu will provide players with three options. These options include dice-created experiences, community-generated modes which will be rotated around by dice, and an experience editor for all players. This experience editor is probably the most exciting thing about the whole Portal experience. Using the editor, players can select classic game modes that aren't included in the base game experience, such as Rush, or create their own modes, such as a gun game or gun master style mode. Players can also allow each team in a match to be designed around a specific game. For example, World War II soldiers from 1942 can face off against specialists from 2042. During the event, a number of modes created by content creators and devs were showcased, including a mode in which a tank faces off against 20 EOD bots. Weapons, gadgets, and vehicles can also be customized using more than 100 options which will be available to players. While this will provide a lot of variety, it's been made clear that these options won't be balanced, as World War II options might be less effective than modern or futuristic options. However, this can be changed since players can have the opportunity to balance settings to change things such as weapon damage or player count on certain teams. Yet another part of Portal is the Rules Editor, which will provide players with a visual scripting editor that they can use to create unique logic or custom rules that can then be shared with the rest of the community. This will be incredible for those who are experienced with or interested in programming or modding games. Overall, Portal looks to have a promising future, as it was confirmed that it will be supported alongside Battlefield 2042's base game from day one. This support was also said to be community driven, as community feedback will drive changes to Portal and even help decide what content from previous Battlefield games the studio decides to remaster. As a whole, this is incredible news for all Battlefield fans, as Portal appears to be a true evolution of previous custom server experiences that will not only allow for custom experiences to be built, but also for older experiences from previous titles to be recreated. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited to play on the Battlefield Portal and have one of the most customizable Battlefield experiences of all time? Also, are you excited to learn more about Hazard Zone, which is the only Battlefield 2042 experience that hasn't been officially revealed? Let me know down in the comments. Well anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.